Hello and welcome to Chertsey Town where the Swans are back in action on Derby Day. It's a very, very big game ahead of us today, Kalodge, and hoping we will be able to make it 11 wins in a row. Yeah, absolutely. The Swans are in good form, but at the end of the day, it's Derby Day, so anything can happen. So yeah. let's see what happens. Yeah, big day across the league as well with Basingstoke heading to Northwood first against third and Hanworth Villa against... Um, Marlow as well so the top six all playing each other so one of the biggest weekends that we've had in the league so far this season it's going to be a tough game but an exciting one as well looking forward to it time for today's lineups it's an unchanged lineup for the Swans today Liam Allen in goal Joe Prattley Jones at right back Harry Mills at left back a centre-back pairing of Mitch Goff and Joe Hicks a three in midfield of Arsen Oikai Alex Kelly and John Gilbert in his usual 10 role Teo Kurtaran down the right Jordan Adiemi down the left and Eddie Simon up front on the bench today it's Daryl Shaw new addition Daryl Coleman Palace Francis Oli Tuam and Torin Roberts Alex uh, Kelly's making that run Ooh. the ball came slowly a bit earlier and that's a lovely over the top, Liam. It could be one, it's not. Joe Hicks was there, he was alert. And PJ finds Jordan. Back to PJ. Teo's in there. Yeah. Lovely touch. Teo sends Adiemi's out wide. Can he Go get on. the ball in? He's cut back. Go on, Jordan. On his left foot, swung it back Eddie to Eddie Simon. Simon. Ooh, oh, it's a good save. What a volley and what a ball from Jordan. Chertsey are lurking there, aren't they, in numbers? Hey, sort of, yeah, Chertsey has sort of come out here. But he's done well, he's done really out. well. And uh, Eddie to Gilbert. Yeah, John was scanning. Ooh, he's looked for Adiemi. Oh, oh there's a slip. And there's slipped here. Adiemi's one on one with the goalkeeper. One -on -one. Can Adiemi get the finish away? Oh, oh he... it's huge. It's huge. What an opportunity. Teo. Ball into the back post this time. Oh. Joe Hicks sort of touched it down. Not really any passing options I want for him. Yeah, PJ was calling for a penalty there. Found Arson. It's been recycled back out to Teo. Can Teo do something here? He's tried to slip John Gilbert in, but he's got another bite of the cherry. Teo. Into Eddie. Eddie. Eddie's turned. Eddie's past one. Oh, oh, and that's the man in form. Red hot form. And Eddie with a beautiful goal to put the Swans 1-0 up. You'll never see anything like it. Eddie Simon. Who else? He's in fantastic form the at touch, the moment. The turn, the fake, the shot. Everything about that goal, perfection. There's another There's a slip. lot of people slipping on yeah. this pitch. It's it only going to get worse with the rain as well, which is going to come. Adiemi isn't off here. He's in the corner. Can he get the ball in? Eddie Simon on the back post here. Go hasn't Jordan. been picked up. He has been picked up. And it's... Oh, no. Oh, 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 Eddie. Of all the players on the pitch you trust that with, it would have been Eddie, but it wasn't this time. I mean, it's wave after wave of Walton attack at the moment. And you do fancy Eddie's got on the score sheet again. Oh, there's a bit of a dodgy bounce on that one. But Lovely flick on. Kelly. Can Jordan get onto it? He, ha he has got hold of it. He Jordan. the three. Get cross for a shot away. Is PJ going to be able to get a ball in? He takes a touch. I mean, Eddie wants it at the far post for him. Puts the cross in. Oh. Oh, it's Felter. Oh, and it's 2 0 to the Swans. Teo with his second goal for the club. It's a massive defensive error, isn't it? Fell right into Teo's path. Great composure to do the rest. And it's brilliant so far, isn't it? 2 0 up. First half. You couldn't want anything more. <laughs> yeah, but for set pieces, mate. Oh, lovely ball. Alex Thanks, Kelly. Kelly. Get to that. Oh, what a vote. What a. Oh, it's 3 0! <laughs> Eddie with his second! And I'll tell you what, Alex Kelly, <laughs> he might have been robbed of the goal there. Eddie's <laughs> taken it. But I don't think Alex cares, because yeah. it's the goal that counts. 3-0, <laughs> and it's a masterclass so far for the Swans. Wow, what a statement. <clears throat> PJ, well won. Fucking Eddie Simon. Oh, There's a nice ball in behind. The 11 picks it up. Goff's got to do well here. He has done well. Oh. Eleven's taking him down the left hand side. Oh, How's that not ended up in? in? In the end, it's amazing defending. Looks like it's Harry Mills. And there's Montague a counter attack here. here. Breaking away. Can Gilbert stop it? He can. Brilliant. But Walters. Oh. It's broken just inside here. Can he get the shot away? He set it back. 
Oh my word, what a block from Harry Mills. Harry Mills, you are class. That's unbelievable defending. To be fair, Real Madrid and Bournemouth played each other in a friendly a few years ago. Eddie Simon, he does get the touch. Can he try the, he's oh, going he's tried for the acrobatic? Ooh. It's pretty close. I mean, he'll shoot from anywhere at this yeah. point. Ooh. Almost gone out. Oh, well, well Liam Mitchell. Mitch. Montague. Oh. Great save, Liam. Well saved from Liam. Yeah, that shot was going into the bottom corner. Yeah, I've like once in, you're like the Liverpool title season, mate, nah, and he's Man City. Mate, I'm always in the top five. Yeah, but you're like Liverpool under Klopp and he's Man City. No, nah, I've overtaken Ben Ho. Oh, Eddie. Eddie. Oh, and Eddie puts it away. <laughs> and we've sort of ruined the commentary. Yeah. But don't worry. <laughs> we were talking about FPL there, but I'll tell you what, if Eddie Simon was an FPL, he'd be getting you a lot of points. Because every game at the moment, he's scoring. Eddie Simon sending Alex Kelly. Alex Kelly one on one with the five here. Can he try and get the shot away? He sent it back to Gilbert. Go on, Gil. Gilbert with a lovely little flick. Kelly. Alex Kelly in the box. Go on. It's in. Oh, and it's five. five. Taylor with his second of the day. Beautiful football from the Swans. And it's 5 0 at Chertsey Town. Yeah. We are in heaven at the moment, aren't we? What an away day this is turning out to be. Chertsey are silenced. The Swans are rampant. We probably recruited some uh, Wolves yeah. fans from yeah. Chelsea. <laughs> and Jordan. The ones that joined after the Vars win, they've made the switch. And Great pace, Jordan. And Palace! Oh, oh. no. <laughs> All of a sudden, we've now got a nice colour to the pitch, if you get what I mean, because the lights are actually on. Yeah. Oh, Palace got me following that. Two's in there. Great oh, save. Great save Tap Liam. in. And the crowd celebrate the consolation goal. 5 1. The clean sheet is lost. It's good work from the two, and it's well finished by Scott Day. Go on, Daz. Yeah, it's decent. Get on it, lad. Oh, he's almost found him. Yeah, the fans started to chant. Rune. <laughs> Troy Walters here. Oh, oh, he's crap. done him. I'm not quite sure what's going on here. 5-2 now. And there's Could a weird vibe in the on. stadium. And that's it. 5-2. Victors, the Swans, an emphatic Derby Day win away at Chertsey Town. Yeah, really accomplished performance. One of our best away performances of the season, that's for sure. And momentum, 11 games in a row now we've won. Let's keep it going. Here with today's Hagley West Man of the Match, Joe Prattley Jones following that 5-2 win. It was one of our best first half performances that we've had perhaps since Scott took over, Scott and Bill took over two and a half years ago. What was your assessment of that first half? Um, I thought it could be more, to be honest. Mm. Um, Eddie Simon was just on fire, but yeah, really could have been more. Yeah, how good is it for you to be playing down that channel role on the right and getting in with the assist today as well? Yeah, it feels good. I mean, I've had a couple of weeks sort of sitting on the sidelines, so getting back in it today felt good. Yeah, and now seven games to go, obviously looking at it game by game, but do you think we can potentially, if we keep it up, get to that chequered flag first spot and, you know, skip the playoffs completely? Yeah, I mean, we're just taking each game game by game, ticking them off as we go. Yeah. Um, but I think come the end of the season, we're going to be, be up there yeah. next league. Yeah. And how would you describe the morale in the dressing room at the moment? Because we're seeing things on the pitch that we just haven't seen really ever. So It's good and it's, it's in the changing room, it's at training, it's, um, it's everything, even in the group chat. Mm. Um, it's, there's a good vibe between everyone. Yeah, perfect. Cheers, Joe. Here with the manager, Scott Harris, following a dominant 5-2 win here on Derby Day at Chertsey. We were thinking behind the goal in that first half. It was probably our most dominant first half performance since Stenning Town away in the Vars two and a half years ago. Yeah, was, there were some similarities to that, actually. The um, thing that comes to mind was, was runners, runners from deep and people finding themselves uh, in, in acres of space through some quite incisive combinations. Uh, yeah, it, there was similarities to that and 
fortunately, similar to that day, we, uh, we put chances away as well. So left us in a spot at half time where, you know, the three nil is a, it's a, it's a, it's a funny one with the, with the lead like that, because one goal early on the wrong way can, can change the whole complexion of everything. And, you know, the old, the old classic, just telling the guys to just start again nil nil really at half time and, and continue to play to win. Because if you invite balls into the box, you're inviting problems. And funny enough, come the last sort of 15 minutes, that's what ended up mm. happen, happening. Um, we've, listen, I said this to the guys in the dressing room a minute ago. When substitutions are made, I mean, this isn't a, a criticism to the individuals involved who might come on on a you know, week to week basis. But it definitely does, you know, upset the rhythm as, as to what was what was going on out there for the first hour or so. But we needed to be sensible um, mm. with a couple of the changes we made. Um, Alex and Mitch, in particular, were, uh, I think, they're through the, the threshold now for for the nine bookings they were both sitting on. So yeah, I think it's two more games. They, Ox, Oxbridge away, they get wiped after that. But uh, yeah. okay, um, I think Merv did say to me earlier that it's it's today, so yeah. we'll have to have a look into it. Um, but yeah, so. A couple of those changes we're trying to be you know smart with things and yeah it's it's funny because even though we've come away and, and scored five goals against a, a strong team a team that's been very good in this league for a long time that last 10-15 minutes it's sort of helped Slightly keep sours yeah, it almost. It's, yeah it's funny it's helped keep everyone honest really mm. and little bits and pieces like that help actually do our job for us when it comes to you know the outlook towards the next game yeah so yeah I think most positive for the first 75 minutes was a performance of all 11 players. I don't think we've seen a, <coughs> a performance this season where the entire 11 was a 10 out of 10. Yeah, it was. A, it, and, and to be honest, that was the, the idea behind the, the whole game plan today. It was all, it was about, <coughs> you know, really trying to put together a lot of combinations in teamwork. It was it was a it was a big team effort. Um, the, the way that the guys were set out to play today and. Some of them get asked different things on a week-to-week -week basis, and I'm sure people probably turn up to the games and think, "Oh, well, he's he's playing there. What's he doing out there? What's he doing?" It? But on, you know, thankfully, once you start to to learn the league and you get you get round some of these teams and you get to see people, we can we can plan accordingly. And and some of those players we've got in the dressing room are just completely buying what we're selling. They're completely adapted to everything we throw at them, mm -hmm. and it's makes it so much easier for us, so much easier. Yeah, I'd say there's been a lot of positives on the pitch this season, but off the pitch, our support this season and behind the goal today yeah. was absolutely phenomenal. I think it was our biggest away turnout of the season. There were comfortably about 150, 200 Swans fans here today. How good was that to see from your perspective? Yeah, no, I love it. I loved seeing that behind the goal and a uh, few few songs breaking out in the, in the second half there, which is, I think, something obviously winning Winning does lead to that kind of thing. Enthusiasm, you know, grows and grows when, when the results are going like this. But I just hope that enough people now have really got the bug that, you know, come come the moment inevitably when things aren't going so brilliantly that people all just stick with us now and, and just keep, you know, keep behind the team, you know, rain or shine. Because it's obviously really easy to, to cheer on a team that's winning every week at the moment. And yeah, yeah it's, it's been good fun for everyone. Yeah, another big three points for the Swans today. It's 11 in a row, but still four points behind Basingstoke, who managed to come away from Northwood with a 1-0 win. We'll be back at home to Binfield next week, and we'll see you guys then.